see the digital transformation in all aspects of our world. And this also is now being introduced into medicine. A lot of people, when they think about digital health or digital medicine, think about data being exchanged from A to B. But this is what we rather see in medical informatics. Digital medicine asks what's the value of these tools for healthcare professionals, but also for patients. German neurologist Professor Jochen Klucken heads the Digital Medicine Research Group, a joint initiative of the University of Luxembourg, the Luxembourg Institute of Health and the Centre Hospitalier de Luxembourg. Digital medicine in particular supports communication. Communication between healthcare professionals and patients, but also between healthcare professionals uh, uh, themselves. And communication efficiency in medicine is extremely low. Patients wait a long time until they get their next appointment. Exchange between doctors is usually complicated. Fax machines are still used. So there is no joint and communicated and harmonized work together. And I think this is a strength of digital medicine. And uh, here in the future, I see a substantial improvement of healthcare. Professor Klucken's research is funded by the FNR Pearl Program. Thanks to this funding, he's built up an interdisciplinary team of experts. Only in this way is it possible to understand the complex processes and different players in the medical field. The research is broad and interdisciplinary in terms of social scientist, health economist, medical process manager, data scientist, clinicians, clinician researchers, authorities, regulatory bodies. So we work a lot with different people and in the end of course with patients and healthcare professionals because we need to understand what they need and how we can tailor our technology to the need of patients and doctors, therapists, etc. One major focus in Luxembourg is Parkinson's research with internationally leading researchers and institutions. Professor Klucken and his team are developing digital solutions and services for patients and healthcare professionals. Parkinson is a chronic disorder where symptoms and treatment needs to be changed sometimes within minutes, sometimes over years, and it's very multi-symptomatic. So Parkinson patients have problems not only with motor function, but also with cardiovascular regulation, psychological symptoms, dementia, depression. Over 19 different professions are involved in the treatment of a Parkinson's patient. Klucken is working with Parkinson's researchers to implement innovative digital tools for this care network and to test their effectiveness and suitability. If we want to have an efficient impact also in care, it requires digital medicine. And here we are very happy to have Professor Jochen Klucken here, who with support from the FNR, the Pearl Grant, is able to fill that gap and to connect between research data and to connect stakeholders in healthcare for a better care for people with Parkinson's disease in Luxembourg. The key technological targets are digital medical devices. Professor Klucken and his team have worked with a startup to develop wearable sensors for analyzing the gait of Parkinson's patients. So these wearable sensors are in principle diagnostic devices. They can give better accurate data, for example, on gait, but also, you know, we work with cardiovascular regulation, sleep assessment, uh, so cognition. So you can actually measure the symptoms with these devices. When I start the timer, you will be able to get up. Klucken involves researchers, nursing staff and patients in his research. The sensors will not only provide researchers with valuable data, but will also be used to support the selection of the individual and specific treatment of patients and its treatment response monitoring. It's very important to have this data because the uh, Parkinson's disease is uh, related to balance issue, the gait issue, and uh, there is a risk to fall uh, for uh, the patients. And we basically want to prevent these falls, to improve the gait of the patients. As a patient uh, with this disease for 24 hours, I'm expecting from the technology that it will help me in my daily life 
And even if I not meet or see a doctor, so this communication between doctors, uh, therapists and patients. Klocken and his team are always concerned with the added value that digital tools and devices offer patients and healthcare professionals in their very concrete daily care routine. For example, the gait analysis becomes meaningful if it helps both patients and physiotherapists in order to improve gait impairment and to prevent falls. To do this, they need to understand the needs and processes very precisely. We need to understand their patient journeys. So, for example, we need to understand how the patient is interacting with the physician, which kind of assessments are done, uh, and which kind of therapy, for example, is suggested. Patients can use the diaries, their gait can be monitored through gait sensors, and we can also provide user interfaces for doctors to allow us to collect real-world data and to annotate uh, the data for our analysis. No matter if wearable sensor, digital platform or mobile app, at the end of the day, these digital devices must also have a measurable impact. A lot of smartphone apps are now available that should help somehow and we don't know which one is good or not. So we need to have a good evidence framework shows that this smartphone app is actually really good. And now uh, I'm actually involved in a European framework that tries to set up this evidence for European assessment of digital therapeutics and, and digital diagnostics. Together with experts at the University of Luxembourg, the LIH and CHL, Klucken and his team is also researching how health data can be collected and used using special encryption methods that provide researchers with as much information as possible, while at the same time protecting patients' privacy. Research data is data for research. You can work with pseudonymized or anonymized data. But for care, you need to know that this is exactly the patient that is in front of you because the doctor is, is making the decision based on this data. And we need to find a good mix between benefit and risk. With his work, Professor Klucken not only wants to improve the care of Parkinson's patients, but also define new general standards, processes and strategies for digital medicine and transfer the experiences from Parkinson's research to other disease areas such as cancer, multiple sclerosis or lung diseases. I have an interest to change or to, to shape this new way how we do medicine in the future and Luxembourg said yes we want to support it and this was for me a very good reason to come and when I see here also the commitment of not only the FNR and the Ministry of Research but also Ministry of Health, Ministry of Economics, so all relevant player, I'm very impressed and even more impressed since I'm here how committed this country is in terms of you know shaping something new and I have to say Luxembourg is an ideal test bed as well because not so many people want health insurance so bringing evidence-based digital tools into healthcare which means into reimbursement is an ideal environment here in Luxembourg maybe even as a learning center for Europe we'll see oh,